afraid of ghosts? <laughs> yeah. Really? That's not that's not stopping. That's still going on. I never I can't really tell if you're serious or not right now. No, I'm real serious. I'm a hundred percent serious. When was the last time you were afraid of a ghost? Give now. Me... <laughs> that's easy. That's an easy question to answer. I think it's look behind you. Ah No, seriously though. Like right now you're afraid of a ghost? Sure. I'm alone right now. It's a it's a scary space. Any space is scary when there's when you don't know what's going to be in it. <laughs> and your brain just fills it with a ghost. Well, here's the thing. It's not so much that I'm afraid of ghosts, like a real thing is ha- going to happen where a dead guy is going to come back. I don't know whether or not that's true. What I'm afraid of is that my brain is going to conjure one. And then if I see a ghost, it's like, "Oh, great. I'm insane." What, like, so you're, oh, you're just afraid of seeing one and not knowing. I'm afraid of being crazy. I'm afraid of seeing one and thinking, oh, now, now what's going to happen? Now I've glimpsed it. Right. What doctor am I going to see? What no medication do I need to be me. on? Yeah. Nobody believes me. I have a friend who saw a ghost. Oh, no. He was working as a security guard. And no. And he walked around the building at night. And he saw a ghost in the reflection of the window. Okay. And or he saw a person in the reflection of the window. So it would have been someone who was behind him as per the reflection. Sure. So it wasn't somebody that was outside because it was a person behind him. But so when he spun around no one was there. He saw a burglar. He saw he saw a very good thief. <laughs> Look, he knows it was a ghost because only a ghost could have stolen all of that software. <laughs> <laughs> Look I am a good guard. I swear to God that was a ghost because I, I wasn't sleeping. I don't know how the world of the supernatural works, but I am a good employee. I think a spirit is trying to get me fired, if you want my honest opinion. It's the adult version of the family circus, not me. Yeah, why not just put that to work? Yeah. There's, there's no reason why. I mean, if you run into enough people afraid of ghosts, it's going to work. People, I mean, like, if you came to me and said that, I would say, ooh, okay. Wow, I'm sorry. That sounds like a rough experience. And think about that. Think about if you came in late and you're like, they're like, God, come on, Straub. I mean, it's it's 845. And you say, ghosts, my car was haunted. Yeah, what are they going to do? And then they're like, please, ghosts. And then you say, your mother says hello. (laughs) And then while a single tear runs down their cheek, you just go to your cubicle. While a single tear runs down their cheek, you just open up their desk drawer, you know, and get out some of the Snickers that they got in there. Take a munch. Say, your mom wants my hunger to be satisfied. And no matter how you slice it, this thing is packed with peanuts. (laughs) From beyond. (laughs) No, but seriously, ghosts are horrifying. You know what bothers... You know what bothers me more? Than what? It's just a ghost being there. I had a friend uh, once, and he, t- he asked me a question. He says, hey, what if you were someplace and you saw a ghost? Uh, and he was doing the thing that he, he used to do in life. Let's, like, let's say you're at a bookstore, and the ghost is, uh, you just happen to happen down this uh, bookshelf, and you find him putting books away or invisible things away like he's still alive he thinks he's working oh and i said that's horrible i would hate it i'd run away and he says well why would you run away wouldn't you feel comforted that there's something beyond life to to look forward to and i said no because why because he's working because he (laughs) thinks he's doing work when he's doing nothing he's moving nothing why is he here? And that's a job with no promotion and there's, no end in sight. There's no function to that job. That's just sheer misery from beyond for no reason. Why would that comfort me? You know what? When you die, you're going to be doing the same stuff that you did in life except for no reason. And you'll never know to stop because there's always more books to put away. <laughs> I mean, eventually the world is going to end. And then yeah. maybe you can move on to a final resting place. No, hopefully, but maybe not, probably not. 
He was really comforted by that idea. And I said, that is a nightmare. How dumb do you have to be to not realize that nobody's talking to you? Or if they see you, they're scared shitless of you. Right. That you're not going home to a family. Like, are you just in some kind of ghost haze? Is yeah, this, you just got you a bunch of think. ectoplasm running through your, I guess, what s- supposedly your brain. Why is that good? I mean, do you really want that for Gramps? Yeah, thanks. I would love to be all by myself in a bookstore when it's closing time, just moving stuff from one shelf to another because I feel like it's my job. What a wonderful afterlife is the Barnes and Noble. Uh-huh.